last 24 hours of Trump's presidency and what he did with his power. Because while Joe- Oh wait, he did something in the last 24 hours as well. Okay. Hours, now former President Trump granted clemency to more than 140 people at 1 a.m. this morning. Many of those notable pardons and commutations were given to people whose names have been circulating in reports earlier this week, as we mentioned on Monday. This including big music and- <laughs> Why did he, wait, what was Lil Wayne in for? Wait, what does pardon? Yeah, yo, can you explain it, this to me? Oh, it is actually a, a get out of jail free card. That's literally oh, what it is. It's a, okay, so he's like the Monopoly guy. Yeah. So you could literally murder someone and, you know, literally just, like, murder something and he pardons you and you get out of jail. And wait, wait what did what did he do? What did Lil Wayne do? Did they, Lil uh, Wayne was facing 10 no years. No idea. Trump stopped him from going to jail with the pardon. Wait, what was he facing 10 years for? Like, did, was it rape? Was it uh, his teeth? Or or was it his god-awful tattoos? Or something? Or was it his music? Was, was th That's why he was facing 10 years in prison. <laughs> my God, look at this, look at this. Or was it his guitar playing? Oh my God, maybe that's why he got charged. Like, this is... This. That's, that's his. What is this face, man? What is this face? Why? I <laughs> <laughs> played better guitar than that. And I haven't played since I was 12. He just plays two notes. I think that's why he got. I think that's why he got fucking charged. If he didn't, he should have. <laughs> he got ten years for crimes against music. Yes, that's that's what it's like. Lil Wayne, Kodak Black. You're raping. Got... Wait, Kodak uh, Black? Yo. Uh, as we mentioned on Monday, there's a great music here. industry what, what, names like. Hello, 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 Wayne, KDC. Kodak Black. Uh, Who is this guy? Who <laughs> this guy's straight? <laughs> oh my god, look at his hair, man. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Back in Death Row Records. Oh, what the fuck is this guy, uh, man? There's including big music industry names like Lil Wayne, <laughs> Kodak. <laughs> oh my god. His head looks like a fucking fork. Or like something you would you'd you'd eat your fucking uh spaghetti with or something. <laughs> I can't find it. Also, very notably, after a lot of conflicting reports, Trump also pardoned his former advisor, Steve Bannon. So according oh, to this NBC, guy. Oh, he pardoned Steve Bannon as well? Oh, of course he did, man. He blew him off to as NBC, well. Uh he was Little Wayne pled guilty to a federal weapons charge. You remember Little Wayne was on the apprentice. Oh. It's never the oh, wait, 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 wait. apprentice show. He played so it wasn't it wasn't for crimes against handgun. music. <laughs> <laughs> no, as much as he should have, it was for. I like uh, I like how you say. I like how you say. California. Yo, Owen, I like how you say Little Wayne instead of Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Little is Wayne is significant for a number of Little reasons, Wayne. including he hasn't even Steve stood trial the charges that he faces. Which, by the way, those charges centered around allegations that he defrauded half a million people who donated to a crowdsourcing campaign to fund construction of the border wall. That <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yo, people actually donated to build the wall, <laughs> and this guy stole the money. <laughs> half a million people. People who donated to a crowd. <laughs> People actually. Was <laughs> in campaign to fund construction of the border wall. That charity aptly named We Build the Wall brought. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why is this? Why is this a lady? <laughs> but according to prosecutors, they say that Bannon took one. You like Trump or something? I don't know. Trump is a grift. One million dollars for his own. He stole the fucking wall money and. I'm surprised people even donated for the wall money. Wasn't it supposed to be, you know, like Trump, I am here. I'm going to make Mexico pay for the wall and all of that shit. 
expenses. <laughs> and so with this, you have a lot of people saying this just shows how Trump is using Every the political power idea out. has people to, uh, every political idea has people that donate to scammers. Uh, some <laughs> bankers, some pointing to the fact that Trump has also recently granted pardons to several of his former top aides, many of whom uh, okay. seem to have this, uh, I don't Look at his face. Look at his no, face. Knack for now, where are where are all the fucking mega uh, supporters? For him. And then this newest batch of funny. He left like, I he, I think he knows he can never come back from this. He can never fucking come back from this, okay? So it's like, he's like, you know, I'm just gonna fucking do any and everything at the Grand end Trump and shit. Trump also pardoned Elliot Broidy, who's a top Trump fundraiser who pleaded guilty last year to conspiring Off. to violate foreign lobbying laws and accepting millions of dollars as part of a secret campaign. Campaign to lobby the Trump Miss Wilson, yes. And Chinese interests. Trump also pardoned Both are disgusting. Why? Have been indicted for corruption, including three. Biden is the same as worse. Yes, I know, but like you know, you guys donated to pay for the wall, and then the dude that wanted the donation, <laughs> to pay the fucking... <laughs> and then Trump pardoned him. Republican <laughs> members of Congress and one former Democratic. <laughs> Notably, oh though, God. I do want to note Trump's last round of clemency did also include <laughs> several nonviolent drug offenders whose requests have been supported by criminal that? justice reformers. This including Chris Young, a man who had been sentenced yeah. to life for drug conspiracy and whose commutation Kim Kardashian okay. West had lobbied for. But uh, despite a few of these examples, Wait, who the that have been encouraged fuck was? By Kim I, I don't even know. I don't even care. If you don't, if you're not, if your head doesn't like like a fucking fucking uh, you know uh, uh, something that you would eat up. Uh, Eat a fucking uh, uh, spaghetti bowl out of largely condemned you know, by criminal justice advocates and others. I don't for care. Overlooking people wronged by the justice system or those who have shown that they have been rehabilitated, instead focus on yeah. giving out political favors to his allies. In fact, despite the attention that some of his pardons have received, either because they have celebrity power behind them or they were controversial, yeah. Trump has actually granted fewer clemency requests than most previous presidents who served one term or less. In fact, until this week, he'd only granted clemency to 95 people. Also of interest, in addition to the pardons, were pardons that apparently he was considering but ultimately decided against. Names that seemed to have a trend until the end. Names like Julian Assange. Oh, wait, he could have pardoned these two guys as well. He's like the fucking uh, uh, president. How many, how many get out of jail cards can he give? Can the president give? I don't think there's a limit. There's no limit? Oh my god. Well, yeah. Like, oh. What presidential terms are in about? Holy shit. I, I, I think you guys feel very, very, you know, about about these two people, right? I I've, I know more about uh, about uh, Edward Snowden than, you know, Junior Assange, but whoa, he didn't. There is no limit. Yo, he could have just, oh my god, could have just done one good thing. Edward Snowden and Joe Exotic, who <laughs> who's Joe Exotic, may or may not have gotten his deposit back uh, for that limo. He was apparently very confident that he was going to get a part, though maybe made sense that he had some hope because there was a last second. Oh my God! Who the fuck is Joe Exotic? He has no you don't Joe know Exotic. Joe Exotic? Trump, with literally just over thirty minutes left. I don't know who's Joe Exotic. Oh, he did a whole big Netflix thing. He he used to own all these tigers. And apparently Joe tried Exotic? to kill. Yeah, Joe Exotic. It's on Netflix. Here's a TV series. Joe on Exotic it. is irrelevant. I mean, let me, let me, let me see. It looks like a fucking good ass character. Uh, Google him. Uh, yet you reached twenty. Oh my God, man. Okay. Hello. Whatever. Whatever. New evidence proving Joe Exotic is innocent. What? Who the fuck is this guy? I wanna your your mom. I wanna know. Yo. I wanna I wanna know about about oh, this guy. Proper. He used to have a whole. He used to have proper a big farm with all kinds of um, What's up, guy um tigers and stuff that he supposedly oh. air quote, rescued. Hello, but hello, he was hello. Killing them. Okay. A zookeeper. What story to tell? Being out in the middle of bumfuck Oklahoma. Oh, this looks this looks interesting. We will, we will look into Joe Exotic as well, okay? Okay, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. His oh my god! Oh my god, it's Skuma! Skuma's fucking back! Oh my god, man, what? He issued a full pardon for... Ah, uh, irrelevant, yes, irrelevant. It's like, he, he owned a fucking tiger, what the fuck, what the fuck, you know? I own a fucking, uh, you know... I I have kids in my basement. Oh, yeah. And also, remember how Donald Trump is one kidding. of the big things? He's like, I'm going to drain the swamp. And so while early on in his presidency, he pushed that line. He also imposed a five-year lobbying ban for... Irrelevant. Yes. 
Nothing defines irrelevant more than me. Immigration officials and a lifetime ban on lobbying for foreign governments. Trump ended up actually okay. revoking that rule as he was leaving office. Because, you know, lies and hypocrisy. But ultimately, those were the final moves of a now former okay. president. Okay. So in the end, even in the end, we Trump have did something. elected and President shit. Biden, the 46th president of the United States, as well as Vice President Kamala Harris, the first woman African American and Asian American in that role. And today, Oh my God, Kamala hey, Harris! Joe Biden took his hoot, oath hoot, of hoot, office. Hoot, he spoke. Hoot, hoot, he, 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 is ov- he is the overrated. She is the she is the Indian woman. Okay, she can uh, she can do whatever uh, whatever she want. Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, she is the real. Um, she is um, the real. She is the real president of the U.S. and I. Okay. It's America's day. <laughs> I mean, the, the moment this the moment is democracy's Indian day. To her being vice president. That's She's not white. Thing. Yeah, she's not, no, she's no, not, one. she's not, she's not, she's not white, she's not black, she's, uh, she's, uh, 